this is for the Duraz and Draha Easter egg. Before you start, this is going to be a solo run. Make sure you're on solo play, or like I just did there, go to configuration and set it to ranked. Uh, ranked, even if you're playing co op, uh, if you do it ranked, you only have to do the amount of bows um, that. Like depending on how many people you are, is how many bows you have to make. Uh, for solo play, um, you only do have to do one bow because you're one player. But if you do unranked, it uh, doesn't matter if you're solo or even up to four players. If you do unranked, you do have to make all the bows. So that's why I recommend probably best just to click solo play in the main menu instead of going to private game. Otherwise, you might hit the wrong button and you you get to the second to last step with the keepers and you can't do it. But uh, like I did in my last video, just get as much points as you can, shooting a leg and knife, um, buy the RK5 for $500, it's upstairs, hit the garden dealer with your, um, your whatever the thing, the, whatever the thing's called, <laughs> activate on the console, and it would drop a power up, but the garden will come up, depending on what it is, you can pick it up, and maybe you'll get a double points, get more money, and this is also, the what number key thing I have to tell you guys, you must keep your MR6. You don't have to, but for this guide, I highly like recommend you keep your starting pistol because you're gonna upgrade it. In this guide, I do not hit the box ever, but another good weapon if you do hit the box is a rocket launcher, or you can also use the bow on the boss, but I like to use the uh, upgraded pistol for the boss. And that's also what the speed caller is for. When you have enough decent money or go on round two or three, open the door, make your way to the first dragon. But first pick up uh, the shield pot. There's three locations for the zombie shield here. Um, just pointing to where they all spawn. I just picked it up there. Activate the lander because you need to activate all the landers so you can use the wonder spheres. Um, and also for the gobble gums, I'm not running, I'm running default gobble gums. If it makes it easier for you, maybe bring in a near death experience. Um, if you don't know what that does, well, I'll read it before. Um, just look at the gobble gums before you play and see if you have uh, decent ones like extra credit, shopping free, perkaholic, near death, self med, anything that can help you near death will allow you to be pretty much invincible in the boss fight if you bring it in, but it only lasts for three rounds. Uh, feed that dragon, just take it slow. You need to pause your game, just be very strategic and like do loops. You have to make a big loop. And how the dragons work, you kill one at a time. And once the dragon eats uh, a soul, then you can shoot another one. It takes six zombies for that dragon. Once you're done, make your way up. Uh, make sure you have enough point, roughly around four, you can open the doors. And turn on the power, just take the same route I have. There's another zombie shield location in the bell tower. There's another one right there. There's another one right there. So that's three, six locations I've showed you. Remember, there's only, there's nine locations total, but only three. Um, well, since there's three parts, there's only going to be three locations that they're going to be at. Uh, that lander, again, activate that. Once you get into the church, uh, just hoard them up. Um, you kind of have to play around. If you're not that great at zombies, uh, just I hope I can provide um, as much info and much, as much strategy as I can. Um, I know I'm speeding um, the walkthrough up for you guys, but I just want this to be as fast as possible. I don't want you guys just to be watching it forever and ever, you know. Once you come down to the pyramid room, once that dragon is fed, you don't. Like I said, this can be done in any order, and you don't have to defeat one completely. You can always go back to one. But make sure you try not to waste zombies and just try to get this done as long as around as you can so it's not that hard for you at the end. Um, just be very careful here. I was quite stupid here. Make sure that you save one zombie first, and then how the pyramid works is uh, you activate zero G and you can fly like I'm doing now. Um, you need to fly and activate the zero G for like the shield piece. The shield piece can be on the wall run there. The wall running in this game, um, if you haven't played the campaign or multiplayer, well, you really need to practice wall running because this can be very, this could be a little challenging because wall running in this 
game if you're not used to it you might just fall or, and you only have a certain amount of time and then you have to wait for the zero g to activate again but once and how you activate it is you have to stand for like uh six seconds or something on those tiles uh there's four tiles around the pyramid and that will go blue once it's activated so just take the zombie far away and then and then uh, go stand on that make sure not to go down otherwise your life will be over uh, pick up the bow at that location uh, with that chest when all of the bows are done come to the death ray up here you need to activate the death ray for an easter egg step this is very important and also it will spawn a piece for the ragnarok uh, which are gravity spikes you need that for the boss fight uh, once you activate the death ray you can do that anytime but after the death ray is finished, its activation, there's two spots um, for the piece to spawn for the Ragnarok. It can spawn at that lander I used, or it can spawn at the other lander, which I just pointed my gun to like a few seconds ago. Pick up the arrow, shoot the wind chime when it spins, it will sh uh, drop an arrow. You pick that arrow up, and then make your way Again, these fires, this is the second step of the bow quest, the upgraded bow. You can do this in any order. Uh, that fire shot, you have to like aim it up like you're shooting a real crossbow from a, a far distance, right? You can't just shoot it head on. And you need to shoot it up in the air like you're shooting some kind of missile. Or artillery missile if you're doing like some kind of battlefield game. Or if you're in the military or something, you know? The next one is... At this location here by the bell tower once you have all three sh shield parts as well you can build at any table but i really recommend the table down in the pyramid room there's three tables there's one in the church one above double tap which i'll be showing you soon and then one in the pyramid room uh, i'm buying quick revive here when you have enough points you can buy it if you like you can buy it at the beginning of the game but it's totally up to you like I said, I don't go down this game, so like if you go down, then you just have to really just go through more rounds to get more points, right? There's four perks I buy in this map. There are Quick Revive, Juggernaug, Speed Caller, and Stamina. I use that for the boss. Uh, the Pack-a-Punch pieces there, there's three around the map. There's one down here. How it works is you, you teleport two certain pieces, like two pieces at two different areas, and the last location is where the Pack-a-Punch would be. Once you get the last fire down here in the rocket yard, uh, you need to get the last uh, Ragnarok piece. So how that works is you have to wait for the rocket, ro rocket to do a test fire. So just train zombies. And then when the rocket goes off, you have to run to that switch and then quickly run um, before the door closes and you just insta-die. And if you insta-die, you're just going to have to restart the game, right? Um, but if you get through the door successfully, just camp where well, I'm camping by the t uh, at teleporter. Just keep shooting your bows, kill all the zombies, because if you let the zombies get to you, you're going to die. Uh, but once it's ready, when all the green lights are steady and they're not flashing anymore, you hold X on the console and then the piece will spawn the teleport, you just pick it up. And then at, usually when it's done, it's done when the door is open. Uh, on the way back here, let's time for the next step. Uh, it's wall running to activate the next step for the um, the bow quest. I got Jug, I had enough money so you can pick up Jug. Uh, you do a wall run, you wait for zero G and you jump on the wall like me. A uh, uh, big tip for this is kind of look on an angle but look towards the wall as you're running or you will uh, fall off it's just really you just have to try on air right that's all really it is um, but if you do um, if you have a hard time doing c corners you can always kind of jump like I showed you there I kind of jumped and then I tried to get back on the wall but again it's all try and error for you uh, so I pretty much probably best just to go in a, a game before you attempt this and just practice that wall running see if you can run around the whole area but you have to start where I started um, 
right by the pyramid otherwise because there's a big gap um you could do it but you have to like do a big jump and just just start where i start okay um you can do these again in any order go back to your closer to your fires and there's gonna be an urn you have to chart get six zombie kills at these urns once you get six zombie kills you have you can uh charge up the arrow and you'll get a lightning charge on your arrow tip and then you just shoot those fires again uh, if you miss you have to go back to the urn and, and charge up your arrow and the next one again is in the uh, rocket yard just wait till you get the zombies kill six zombies and then Make sure you have the shield, especially trying to do what I'm doing, duking, juking the whatever it's called, the zombies. And then I would move closer where the teleporter is, but if you want, you can make that longer shot. You just have to aim up higher. But I'm uh, on my way to get the do the last last um, fire, and afterwards that would be done for that part. And after you got all three, just go back to where you picked up the arrow at the beginning, the quest. Uh, hold X on that blue, b blue um, broken stuff on the floor, and then uh, it would drop an arrow. You upgrade the arrow, pick that up, take it to the chest down in the pyramid room, and then you have to get souls when it's done. Uh, don't hold X on it yet. Bring your uh, normal arrow over to start the Easter egg step. Shoot off six uh, orbs above the teleporter, and then hold X on the um, the bow. Wait for it to do its animation. You'll get an achievement for completing your quest. Uh, the quest uh, up getting um, upgraded bow. Bring your uh, upgraded bow. So this step you have to sh again. There's like seven, eight locations for a wisp. You have to shoot with uh, your upgraded bow. You can't. Uh, use widow, widow's wand grenades. You can't um, shoot a bow at, at a wrong one. Otherwise, it will not work. So, say if you have widow's wand, be very careful. Because if or throw them away. Because if a widow's wand blows up by those wisps, then um, it, well, it will be okay, I believe. But if you don't, if it's not a wisp, like say it, it was that globe, and um, it was not blue didn't have like an electric wisp on it and you like shoot it or like that one or you um, th have a widow's wand that blows up by it then it, you will fail and this is round based you if the round ends it restarts so you have to hit four of them so just watch where I'm going taking to all the locations in a certain path pattern so see there I hit f I hit four in total once you're done Come to the teleporter, the actual teleporter, and remember this all has to be done in one round. In co-op, all the players have to be there. You could kill the zombie, but you only have a few seconds. Once the round changes and everything, it's going to restart. And then make sure you have enough money, and do not go to the teleporter if the rocket is under test fire. It will not work. Once you enter the pack of teleporter, um, pick up two parts that you have to pick up a fuse, which is right there, and then that blue cylinder in that corner like I picked up earlier. Once you pick up those two parts, wait for the doctor to um, close the safe, and then he will spit out a uh, code, like, like you see there. Uh, make a note of those, or remember those, or take a picture. So mine was rocket door door, you have to remember that. And again, you have to make sure you have those pieces. Once you come out of the teleporter, kill the panzer. The panzer spawns around 12 normally, so if you have not gone around 12 or you have not killed a panzer in the game, this will be your first one. And he will spawn a Ragnarok piece, your last one for the gravity spikes. So make sure you pick those up. Like me, I totally forgot I had to come back. And make sure to get the hell out of there before the rocket goes off. The next step is putting the fuses into the box of the um, 
Deathway, I'm sorry, Deathway machine, and switching it to protect. That's a key thing. You have to put the fuses in and switch the dial to protect by holding X. Afterwards, you come to the uh, computer here and put in that code you jotted down. Once you do that, it is completed. Just put in the three. But also, um, you know the last step with the wisps? You have to do that again. And it just, it just, it just activates again in um, the next round. So if you ended the previous round, like I was doing, I shot the first one before I did the uh, fuses, the fuse. So you just look around, follow the same path, and um, shoot the wisps. If you fail or uh, you don't get to them in time or whatever, you'll hear like a noise, like a like a ding noise. And if that happens, you just have to wait to the next round. When you go back in the teleporter, you're picking up a slab, a concrete slab. And if you do not like pick up the key card, it's just going to think you failed the previous step and didn't put in the code. So then you can't pick up the slab and it's just pretty much thinking you're back at step one, like with the wisps. Like there's two steps here. You have to go in the teleporter twice. But it thinks you're still on this, the first stage. So you, it's taking you back to the first time you go in the teleporter and the doctor is going to be there. It's going to do the same process again. Uh, once you pick Hail X in the book and then went to that safe and picked up the sl slab, you had to pick up a slab. And then this is where you put the slab, right there. You need to do that for the next step. Well, the, the second to last step. Afterwards, I since I had all the parts for the Ragnarok, I built them there. You can build in the church though if you like. Then since you had the key cards, I get, got the key card, I can do the next step. Put th what, one thing there, switch the, again you can do this in any order, it doesn't matter. I just put the two things on the, one on each um, rod thing, and then switch the, uh, again, switch it from protect to destroy. It has to be swapped to destroy the uh, death ray. Otherwise, this would not work. And then you have to do two sets of Simon Says successfully. So hold X on the computer, uh, pause it, jot the order down. If you never played the Simon Says like in Moon or something before, well, just watch what I do. Uh, so pretty much the Simon Says it is you have to remember the the TV, like the symbol on each TV. You have to jot down like the rock is one, door is two, and then I will spit out the image on the computer. And you have to hit that one. That course, like say, uh, that is lightning. So I'm hitting the second one because it was lightning. And this is this is the second computer down in the rocket yard. Uh, it might be a little finicky. It might be, uh, you might get pissed off because you might just start on it and the rocket went off. It takes a good, uh, let's say 30 seconds to do it. So if the rocket starts to go off, just get the hell out of there and redo it. Otherwise you'll die. Uh, once you do that hold X on the death ray, if you do it successfully, the light will be full green. Pick, uh, then a pod, Dempsey's pod will come down from the sky. Pick up that golden rod. I got my last perk. And I'm going to activate the next step. Put that golden rod in the, um, in that slot there, where you picked up the bar, the original bar. And then follow the keeper. Uh, this is going to be unlimited dogs on this uh, this whole step, so just be very careful. Hopefully you have ammo. If you don't have ammo, maybe best just to wait for like a dog round or something, or try to hit that death, uh, the gauntlet at the beginning if you have one of those cylinders, those blue cylinders. Uh, just get kills with your, uh, there's going to be like a blue or purple aura like around the screen, depending on what bow it is, it will have a color. But for some, for example, we're doing solo, so they're all going to be the same. They're going to be a blue since we have the lightning bow. But the lightning bow is the best bow, so I highly re recommend making the lightning bow. That's why I'm doing it for the purpose of this video. Um, pack a punch your pistol whenever you can before the boss, and uh, just keep following the ghost. Get kills. Remember, charge shot. And just keep, um, you just have to feed it souls with your bow in the ring. You have to be in the ring. Once you do all four locations, uh, there will be a panzer, the second or the third one. 
Afterwards, just follow the keeper down. Once the screen goes white and the lasers go like that, everything would despawn. Pick up a new shield, make sure you have a fresh shield or semi-fresh shield for the boss fight. Just wait, listen for the voices. Uh, once the uh, pyramid is like that uh, and the canisters come up, you have to put that canister you picked up earlier in the slot because one is missing. Afterwards, once everything, everyone is done talking and everything, um, you have to, don't do it too early, just wait for everyone to shut up or wait for like 15 seconds after the pyramid opens and such. Then you take out your regs, left B and RB together. I'm hoping you know how to use them. Like again, if you're doing this Easter egg without not having much knowledge of the map, well, good luck to you. Uh, and then left trigger, left trigger on the square, any square, doesn't matter. Once you enter the boss fight, just train counterclockwise, I recommend. Just keep shooting the bow if you get trapped. And then you're waiting for um, the boss to put down a, you'll hear like a <laughs> sound. You're waiting, just look for the middle of the map. You're waiting for like a, a blue mist, like a, a purple mist. Once he spawns that mist, you have to go to the middle and slam your Ragnarok. Again, left trigger on the ground. You're planting them into the ground. You're not doing like a slam. You're just planting them. After you do that and uh, shoot damage at the boss, then you have a panda round. When you shoot damage at the boss, I really recommend shooting a charged bow shot so zombies don't come and attack you in the back as you're shooting the boss. And then just unload in his chest. Make sure you're facing him. You're looking for his yellow chest. After you complete one phase uh, successfully, you will go into a panzer fight. Just kill the three panzers. Once they're dead, pick up a max ammo. You will spawn in two max ammos or so, and then after every boss phase, like damage phase, you'll get a max ammo. You only get one. Again, let that blue mist, and do not do not slam as you're running. You have to stop and then slam. Because if you're doing, if you're trying to slam as you're running, you might miss. And if it's not close enough. Um, he will do a white mechanic. He will uh, blast electricity all over the map. And if you do fail or if you cannot do char a charge because your regs are not charged, for example, or you didn't do enough damage, just keep training. Try to get kills with your pistol. Uh, pistol or a gun charges it up better than the bow. And hide behind a pillar. Otherwise, you'll just insta-die. I use an in plain sight there because... I could, and I had the option to. I really recommend maybe to use one for the panzer fight. Just keep an eye on the level of the implant site. Only it lasts for 10 seconds, but just blast them in the face. Always blast the panzer in the face. That's the best idea. I want you to, there's going to be four panzers on the second phase. So there's a, a damage phase, the first there's three phases of the boss, and there's two panzer phases in between. And if you do it successfully, um, each phase, he will spawn a max ammo, and obviously after, pick up your Ragnaroks, because if you don't pick up your Ragnaroks, you can't charge them. And the best way to charge them is during the panzer fight. The panzer rounds. And just, again, blast them with your... Um, speed caller and your MR6 in the chest and like if you're doing co-op you have to shoot him like as soon as he opens his chest don't did a dial because you only have like 10 8 seconds to do damage after you get out of there successfully make sure you pick up the go to the um, the square and pick up the summoning key make sure it looks like there's nothing there because you you have to hold X twice just make sure you look again and make sure what it looks like. Or just keep holding X, make sure there's nothing there. But again, just watch it because there might be zombies that spawn in. And this is one tip I have for you guys because this happened to me. Never ever pick up a nuke. Before, if you do pick an, up a nuke, wait for all the zombies to respawn in before you activate the whole, uh, X on the computer for the summoning key. Because if you put the summoning key down, uh, all the zombies are supposed to despawn, but if, for some reason with the nuke, it just messes up that process, and then the, actually the zombies spawn, and the zombies will attack you, 
in the cutscene and you will die. That happened to me. So just don't pick up a nuke or anything. If you do kill zombies. Afterwards, again, all the zombies despawn. Just wait a bit. Watch the rockets go to the moon. Watch the cutscene. Afterwards, you'll get your... Um, wait four seconds. You'll get your 2500 XP. And you'll get all the perks. These perks are not permanent. They're just a one-time thing. So if you go down, you'll lose them all. And um, again, like in my previous video, if you use gumballs in this, wait one whole round. For example, I'm on round 22. Finish this round, go through round 23, round 24, you can dashboard. Otherwise, if you just use class normal gumballs, just end the game. Well, there you go, guys. There's the achievement. There's the gateway. If you did this, did this successfully, that is awesome. Just follow these tips. I know if I'm just rambling on, just mute me. I don't really care. Uh, please leave in the comments if um, you like these walkthroughs or you prefer just me just doing an Easter egg guide, just, just doing the steps. Uh, thanks for watching, and I pray that you guys can get this done. Again, if you really need my help or it's just solo is not your thing and you've been trying to do this with other people, please message me, and I will be putting up a guide for the other bows. I'm going to have a guide for every bow. So if you do not want to use the lightning bow, you can make another bow of your choice.